Hi guys, so today's video comes to you in two parts. This is part one and part two will be linked down below. In this video, I'm going to be explaining the curse of the M word. And in the part two video, I'm going to be reading out some stories that were sent in to me about real things that have happened as a result of saying the M word. So before we even get into this, let me just kind of explain why I'm even making this video. On Theater Commandments, I recently started making merch, which is available for purchase at theatercommandments.spreadshirt.com, link in the description. The most requested merch items were t-shirts with the commandments on them. So I'm slowly adding them into the store and either yesterday or the day before I added in a shirt that said thou shalt never say the m-word. Then I made a post on theater commandments of pictures of the shirts you know just doing a little bit of advertising and from that from posting the picture of the t-shirts that say thou shalt never say the m-word I got an absolute blizzard of messages. Let it go let it go holy shit I have a lot of messages. I'm starting to believe that it is my life's purpose to sing let it go whenever it's irrelevant. Anyway because I got such a response and so many questions questions and so many stories sent in, I feel like it warranted a video, or in this case two videos, just addressing the whole thing. So let's start off by explaining what the M word is. The M word is Macbeth. Oh, she said the word! She said the word! Relax, theater kids, I'm gonna explain. It is considered extremely bad luck to say the name Macbeth inside a theater. You can say it on the internet. You can shout it from the rooftops. You can type entire posts on Tumblr that are just the word Macbeth. Hell, you can even read posts that mention the M word inside a theater. You can watch this video where I've probably already said the word Macbeth five times inside a theater and you'll be good. The curse applies only when you say it inside a theater. I probably just flung myself out of the shot several times. The reason why I felt the need to repeat that quite flamboyantly is because I got a reply to a post where the M word was included in the post that was like, but what if someone's in a theater when they read this? The curse is not transmittable via Wi-Fi. Y'all are good. And to prove that point, I'm gonna do a little demonstration. Buckle up, theater kids. This is gonna be weird. Macbeth. 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 Did anybody get hit by lightning? Did anybody spontaneously combust? There is actually a counter curse to cancel out the effects of the M word. It goes a little something like this. Step one, step outside. Step two, spit on the ground. Step three, spin around three times. Don't forget to be screaming profanities at the top of your lungs while spinning. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. Step four, ask permission to be let back in. By the way, thank you to whoever posted the reply that was the full counter curse because I always thought it was just spin around three times and spit on the ground. I didn't know about the screaming profanities and asking to be let back in thing. So thank you for informing me and further educating me as a theater person. So to finish up this video, I'm gonna tell you guys where the curse comes from and why it's even a curse at all. So this little bit of history that I'm going to share with you guys was actually sent to me as a message by Skullduggery Sundry, whom I really hope that I said your URL correctly because I believe in giving credit where credit is due. I got plagiarized on Twitter last night. Anyway, let's read this thing. The M word curse exists because supposedly while writing the Scottish play, Willie Shakes decided it'd be a good idea to use an actual book of witches spells for a reference tool. The original production supposedly included real curses and spells, so now if you see the name of the play king in your theater, you summon the witches back and they, their magic haunts the theater for the rest of the show. Unless, of course, you do the counter curse immediately. Thank you very much for sharing that little bit of knowledge. Also, by the way, the play is called Macbeth, but when referring to it, we call it the Scottish play to avoid saying the name. I don't know why I didn't mention that earlier in the video. That kind of should have been the first thing I said in this thing. Oh wait, I know exactly why I forgot to say that, and that is because I am completely and totally improvising this video. And that's about all I have to say. Go have a look at part two for some stories regarding when the M word has been said. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me in all the links in the description, and I will see y'all next Friday.